Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 60! 60! My goodness, we have gone so darn far in this series. Uh, just to recap the battle so far, we're fighting off an invasion, and uh, intelligence has reached us from some intelligence gathering agents. That the invasion site for this is somewhere around here. It actually, it might be exactly where this mine is. So I'm going to be looking for that, trying to uh, make sure that the transports don't get there. I guess some of them already did. I don't know. I'm hoping that they didn't. It didn't count, or maybe it's a little bit further south, just because it would be kind of BS in my opinion if we rushed over to the invasion spot and their transports could still get there in time. So we'll see. We have one clean queen class battleship, which is. Uh, not reported as, as sunk right now, but I think she is sunk. Um, and right now we're just trying to chase these ships off, and we came in under fire, and I think one of these was already, you know, listed as a battleship. So we came, came under some pretty heavy fire from the battleships. Right now these ships are, yeah, so the, we don't want you to be engaging the sinking battleship. Let's have them specifically engage the Calypso. And they're supported by two destroyers, which have all the torpedoes. These are the ones that came from our carrier. Furthermore, I think one of our two strikes is headed in. One of them is heading out. Is that true? No. I think maybe both of them have already finished then. So I think this queen now, I think it will now register as sunk. So we would just rather, much, much rather not have anybody firing at that. Um, I guess I can manually give the order target the Calypso as well. Problem is I don't know how to change that order once you give it. And you know having the 4 inch guns fire it, that's fine. Uh, problem is we're still being targeted by the big guns of the folks we can't hit. In fact it's uh, pretty impressive that we're far enough along in torpedo technology that even with having 8 inch guns our torpedo range is the same as our guns. <laughs> it's very impressive. I'm going to turn off torpedo launching here because I'm a little nervous that these destroyers are going to be overzealous about killing the queen when she's already dead. Um, I think this might have been the one to hit the mine, but it might not have been. It might have been a, this mine up here that was hit. And you have the scorpion class just sitting. Okay, it's dead. That explains why it's just sitting there. Didn't remember myself. I guess it's a good time to take a look at our carrier as well, just to see how she's doing in terms of strike craft. I think we have some getting ready right now. Seeing three torpedo bombers, I feel like that's a number which is high enough that we'll ready that on its own. And I may have made the exact opposite decision last time, but well, that's what happens when you uh, <laughs> give yourself enough time to rethink a decision. You might not come to the same one. Oh, darn it. This is what I was just really hoping to avoid. Considering we're not getting hits on the Calypso, and we are taking hits ourselves. Oh, yeah, of course, now we start putting hits on the Calypso. I wanted to scare her off entirely so that our destroyers were free to operate in the region, but this is the, in the rock, paper, scissors of things, we are disadvantaged. So they have the ultimate trump card. They will be able to defeat our heavy cruisers, and even if we... I mean, our heavy cruisers can beat their light cruiser, our destroyer can beat their battleships, but their light cruiser can beat my destroyers, and their battleship cruisers can beat my heavy cruisers. They have the range in both of those situations, so we're just going to turn off firing if you're going to fire at the wrong stuff. So they have the, the range on both of those, so it's not worth, not worth engaging. We'll just turn on our smoke as well. Only if the Eclipso comes back will, be, will we be interested in engaging. Uh, I'm going to turn you south just because there's no reason to have you running north. And again, we've already done a lot of good work. Okay, there goes the destroyer. No, do not detach. Oh, and we also have this destroyer that's limping home. Sorry, not destroyer. Oh, it's a close one. I think she's going to get to port in time, though. 
And Sapporo, she still has torpedoes, or I mean, there's a reason that we did not have her go right into port. Not yet. But we want her near port because we're not convinced. Um, damn. We're not convinced that uh, she's going to be of any use to us. We just don't want to lose the possibility of using her. Okay, so we want the destroyers to continue scouting, actually. And the heavy cruisers are just going to essentially patrol. Alright, you are now moving into the wind, so you're launching something. What the heck are you launching? Okay, these guys are ready. And this is not ready, but we want to ready them. I think we just go ahead and launch the next strike. What priority target? I think we're going to go for battleships still. Yeah, I think we're still going to go for battleships. Just try and check the time of day. Of course, I could do that down here. Still early. So we want to keep cycling those attack waves in and out. Oh, this is kind of promising. I'm not seeing any push from them to move back towards the invasion point. I, the only thing I really just hope is that they didn't already satisfy the invasion requirements. Alright. This is, I believe, the light... I'm just going to guess it's either a light cruiser or destroyer. Yeah. So we're going to move our... Heavy cruisers on in. We'll keep scouting with our destroyers, but at a distance so that we don't engage. Okay, the queen class is officially down. It's actually really good considering we're launching attacks that are going to prioritize battleships. We don't want them to prioritize ones that are already sinking. Okay, this is good. I think we can run at, at speed here for a little bit. And it looks like she made it to port. Oh, that's amazing. Sapporo, just go back this way and just cruise at like six knots. Um, we don't want you to go into port, but... Oh, we don't want you to go into port either. So yeah, I guess just go back north. Maybe even northeast, because every time you want to launch, you have to move west. Yeah, that was the Calypso. Well, go ahead and launch, or, you know open fire if you can on the Calypso. Perfect. Okay, good. we're getting some hits. Well, by some hits I mean one hit. But we have a good formation here. Our destroyers will be able to alert us to any anything we encounter. And again, just putting all the damage we can on this Calypso. We don't need to sink it, I just want to make it, render it incapable of sinking our own ships. If it doesn't sink, that's fine, just as long as... Where the hell is that going on? Those three torpedo bombers sure got up quickly. Um, are they approaching a battleship? Because that is a little bit... Okay, yeah, we have an unidentified ship, so let's... You know, start moving north. We might be a little bit nervous about this. I think we have every right to be. But the good news is that we're not seeing any escorts. Yeah, those are definitely destroyers. So we'll pull back. This is kind of a fun... Oh, wonderful. Wow, one out of our three actually got a hit. Um, I, this is really cool. We're just kind of... It's like mind games going on. I feel like there's a real strategic... Or that's well, not a strategic decision, but it's real tactical. Weaving in and out, drawing their forces back towards us, and then hitting them with our torpedo bombers. I feel like we've done really well in this whole exchange. And we got another two of our three torpedo bombers landed a hit. That is exceptional. Just don't want to overwork the engines on these guys. Okay, what are you doing, Calypso? Because both of these battleships have now taken another hit. So really what I'd like to do is move in and take out that light cruiser. So this is kind of the fun little game. When when do we move in? When do you not? A 17 are outbound, so we do want to draw them back this way. Okay, well, turn around again. 
Can you imagine being with these ships and just, you know, constantly, after several minutes, of course, but just reversing course over and over again? Excuse me. Because in we go once more. Unto the breach once more, my friends. Unto the breach once more. Feels like a good time to push. Our torpedo bombers are coming in. It's going to render enemy uh, gunnery a little bit less effective. And they're making a beeline right for the battleships. Now, we should remember, of course, there are some enemy carriers out there somewhere. Two options we have is either to try to sink them with our ships, try to find and sink them with our ships, or continue to scout and try to find and sink them with our aircraft. But this Queen class, by the way, which has no guns which fire backwards, we have a little bit of a safety net here. Not sure how much that applies to their secondary guns. In fact, I'm, I have no idea. I really don't have any idea what the, sec what the, the firing arc for the secondary guns is, and I don't think it's based on the gun positions drawn, like the graphics. Um, I'm just guessing that half can fire on one on port side, and half can fire on broadside. And maybe only a couple of them can fire directly north and south. I don't know. I mean, I have no idea how how Frederick has programmed that up. Nonetheless, this is a very intimidating ship. I mean, this is just amazing. Oh, we saw the front turret go down. Two, three, oh my goodness, three torpedo hits. Are they all on her? They are. One of them has destroyed her front turret. I mean, I don't want to... What happens if we... Okay, I was just wondering. Can you right-click on the battleship? But no. So she is not officially sunk yet, but I think that she will be. Oh yeah, she's dead in the water. And this is a great time. This is a great time to get our speed up. I'm still going to push only 26 knots. Undentified ship. Okay, good. That was the other battleship. Let's move north. I, I'm basically pursuing this light cruiser. I really want to kill that thing. <laughs> Eliminating their escorts is just so critical for my, like, grand plan. I don't know why. It's just somehow it is. And definitely what we'll be doing for our last aircraft. We have four here which can go. We'll ready those as well. The 14 are ready. We definitely want to change targets to CVs. I don't even know if there are any battleships left after this. There was two... Uh, three battleships and one at least one battle cruiser. So there's still a battle cruiser, battle cruiser out there somewhere. I'm not sure where. Probably one of these. Yeah, but I want my heavy cruisers. I mean, we have to work together here. This battleship is not necessarily sunk yet, I guess. Okay, this one is, so we might have to turn off firing again. Well, I mean, we keep taking bigger and bigger chunks out of the enemy navy. So let me actually start moving back. I'm going to do something. I'm expecting at this point that they might be preparing a counter strike. So let's move towards port under the assumption that we might need to be near port in order to very quickly get ourselves. Okay, this is a redoubtable. They're all really in impressive battleships. So we just <laughs> want to get out of there. Yeah, we'll pour pour the speed on for a little bit. And we have one more, by the way. Here it is, inbound. 14, moving in. They are likely going to overkill the queen, but hopefully they get some against the... I already forgot what that other one was. Redoubtable. Hopefully they hit the redoubtable as well. Just a single torpedo on the redoubtable is what I would expect to be enough to kill her. And in the meantime, let's have our... Yeah, okay, never mind. She's doing some kind of launching of some kind. We'll leave her to that for the moment. Yeah, they're moving in on the battleship. Oh, we're going for a light... Oh, yeah, no, these are going for the... Well, we got three hits on something. I think that was against the light cruiser. So a little... Oh! 
Carrier? Enemy CV? All right, well, that's exactly what we are looking for. Do we, do we believe it? I almost don't believe it. That's the problem. Okay, let's have the four go off and looking for the carrier. And I'm going to leave the 14 in reserve just for another moment. We do have a cap of three aircraft over our... Uh, Heavy cruisers now, which is nice. Hmm. Don't need to lay smoke anymore. When is that enemy counterattack going to come? And how do we make sure that we're close enough to port as well? I mean, without another spotting report, let's see, 23, 23, okay, at 23, we didn't really get much of a report as far as carriers go. The last report we got was this one, which makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, that's that. I believe this. I think that's that might be where the other enemy carriers are. Uh, in which case, it's going to be hopeless for us to actually get to them. Or does that mean? Okay. What is the range over here? 130. Well. 90? Ah, damn it. Well, let's try to get over there to try to... I mean, just in case this is not the last wave, we'll try to pull closer. These are torpedo bombers. There's only four of them. Okay, now they are after me as well. But we do have a nice cap over here. My goodness, perfect. So just move towards port when you get the moment. Sapporo. I don't know. Looks like the max speed you're going to be able to muster is 12 knots. It's not extremely impressive. Just It just means that I don't want to go too far from base. So it's unlikely we'll be able to <laughs> recover her. I mean, if there's bad, something bad happens. We're still avoiding stuff here. Okay, I, there's two ways I could do this. I could take a swing at nothing. I'd, I mean, I could just take a swing down here. We only have one spotting report in this entire area. They would move west to launch with the wind. But we definitely reported light carriers. Oh man, this is this is a rough this is a rough I'm not sure what to think. Having not taken any hits, we will move back towards the enemy. I guess that's the best thing for us to do. Just go and scout out who we want to try to eliminate. And yeah, we don't have anybody, really, we don't have anybody who can move against the carriers to the southwest. If we had some destroyers that I could part with, I'd send them in, but we'd have no other destroyers available. 
yeah, we only have these three. It's basically just these two divisions. They're going to have to do everything from here on. And we are approaching. I, I want to see where these guys are. Oh, okay, way up here. They're going after a light cruiser? Okay, so what we have is supposedly still four capital ships. I just, I can't not launch against that. It's too much, basically it's too much of an unknown. We will ready these guys. We have one that's being readied and the one that is already ready. I'm just gonna continue to launch against what's obviously a big enemy fleet over here. So here we go. It's the best I can think to do. Yeah. And these are coming in. Right, the transports might be mistaken for... The transports might be mistaken for carriers. Oh, I don't know where this is happening. Nine. Yeah, that's from the recon plane. That's really good info. Part of me wants to go all the way down here and search for the carriers. I just know that it probably won't be a fruitful effort. And it's possible we can get lucky with these instead, because we are very fast. It's one advantage we have moving this way. They gonna okay they are approaching something yep there is there's definitely battleships up here oh wow and very quickly we're landing hits three more four more torpedoes is it all the same target well I if that's a battleship I think it's a goner Interesting. Huh. And they're way up there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take a chance here. I'm just going to go for it. I think that we've done a really good job in the Northwest. That last one is just has been spectacular. Great results. We're going to... Okay, we're going to ready that. Or not, I don't know, but we're going to send these torpedo bombers on a fool's errand. I don't know if we should or not. Yeah, this 11 is not accurate. There's zero available there, so we don't need to get those ready. There is three. There are three torpedo bombers here which could we can put. Yeah, maybe this is what I do. I just send these three on a heavy bomb mission. What can they field? 1,600-pound uh, bomb. I mean, that's impressive. I'll see if I can get these guys to ready with torpedoes, though. Yeah, I know. Can you put two on there? I think it did it. But I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, anyways, the strike itself. I think we're going to fly in against the same group. I'm, I'm changing my mind on the fly here. One last security one with all these torpedoes, because I want the torpedoes to find a home. I'm not as concerned. Oh, crap. There it is. Got it. A little confusing there. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. The window has been off this whole time. 
I hate roll the waves in the system I use, because now I have to minimize again. Put this up here just momentarily. Get that, and I think I have it. No. All right, back. 25 minutes in. All right, so you are going to launch a tar an attack. I think these guys are fleeing, in fact, so I'm just going to go pretty extreme on that. Launch, and then whatever torpedo whatever torpedo bombers we have left, are all, they're all going to move against the carriers. I have no idea where those carriers are. You would think it would be good to launch a recon first, but no, I'm actually just going to launch my own version of recon, which is recon bombers. Bomb and recon all in one. Destroyer. Well, it's firing at me already, so I know it's not a destroyer. What does this thing have? Five inch guns, does that mean we have... These are the older destroyers, yes, we have four inch guns. Okay, well that's fair. Just get our heavy cruiser to go after it. Oh, yeah, you guys don't have to stop attacking, you are not, okay. Why aren't you attacking? Huh. Just not worthy. This thing is not worthy of our attention, I guess. Okay, there we go. We finally realized there's a threat. We're only using our 4-inch guns against it. That's fine with me, by the way. Just feel free to use your 4-inch guns. This one might already be walking dead or something. I don't understand why our ship didn't engage it. But there is some kind of AI which goes on under the hood, which chooses like when they're going to launch or not. Well, if this Mohawk wasn't dead before, it is now. I think we'll just stop firing again. Do not want to waste any of our ammunition. And those were like some 8-inch shells and such that were hitting it. There's the battle cruiser. So what I was thinking about doing is actually sending my destroyer in just to torpedo anything which is over here. Hopefully that will flag it as overkill for the other just the other incoming torpedo bombers. If we can get there in time. And then after that, um, moving them south. If they want to waste torpedo bombers against these destroyers, it's fine with me. Oh my lord, where are you? Yeah, okay, I need to turn you back. In fact, you are just going to be useless. I think I'll send you to port. Oh, whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to turn you. Okay, there. Let's turn you south. And let's get ready to do this. So, you are going to prioritize carriers. Alright, this is very cool. This is the midway style type things you have to kind of consider for yourself. Where could these carriers be? They were at some point heading southwest. So I'm going to guess west-southwest. Let's just guess way over here. And launch. And then what I'm going to have the carrier itself do is we're going to move pretty aggressively towards the strait to reduce the time for them landing. Okay. Um, I think you guys are not allowed to launch torpedoes, but yeah, one more. We'll, we'll allow it this time. The rear one, because they usually don't get a chance to fire. You know what? Maybe I'll just... Nah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, I will launch with the lead as well, just in case we didn't hit. Okay. I do see a battle cruiser up here. One hit. Two hits. Good. Very good. And you guys are not firing. Good. And we are pursuing the battle cruiser, which supposedly is already under duress. This is the inconstant. With a ooh. Oh man, she's she's very aggressive. She is deadly accurate as well. Man, a single hit already. We're gonna peel off. I think we don't attack any of this. 
That battleship is just dead in the water, though. I mean, we have to, right? We have to try to get close enough to hit it. Here comes the torpedo bombers. They could just do it for us. No, 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 no. Don't approach those ships. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, my goodness. Wait, wait, did they... They... Okay. Okay, you went after the one that's already dead, but that's actually going to completely... It's going to make my job completely unnecessary. What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh lord. And then they did just another one for good measure. Okay, Japanese Cruiser 7. Okay, that's these guys. Oh boy. We're pretty far away from port. We're going to make a beeline back for port. Destroyers. I really wanted to find out what this unidentified ship was. Oh, that's just the destroyer we already sank. Okay. Did have a bomb hit on the Ashigara. So these are dive bombers. I, I, some, for some reason, I feel a little bit better about that. What the heck is this destroyer doing? Alright, she pulled off. Okay. If, if we actually did it, we're rerouting. Just going to port. We're going. We're doing it. <gasps> what? Could it be true? Okay, that's really interesting. Could there be an actual carrier that close? May I... I might have overshot by a large margin. We are almost in range of visual verification of that kind of target. Alright, well the job is done up in the north. We're going to let the whatever, the one battle cruiser who for some reason was not targeted at all just gonna let that one go. Yes. Oops, I said yes to Raikou. I didn't actually want you to do that, but... Okay, fair enough. Go down 25 knots just for allowing our group to catch up. I do have medium bombers landing or doing recon or something. But otherwise, the Zuki has, has gone south of the strait. We are in the area where we should actually be able to see the carrier. This is really crazy. All right, let's just run at speed. Okay, she's turning into the wind and possibly... So we looked in vain over there. Still looking, wait. One of these is new. That's the old one. Oh god, 404? Oh my gosh, we guessed correctly! We guessed correctly! No, it, I mean, they're a little bit further south. I was guessing, like, probably over here or something. But will our torpedo bombers be able to pick that up? Okay, let's... let's do the attack. I know we have somebody ready. We have three. This is almost more to figure out where they are than anything else. Then once we uh, identify their location, we can go We can go big. This is the one from 404. Yeah. So they're heading southwest. Let's send it this way. Okay. Launch strike. I know that's also very true. They're going to launch and we're going to lose some, but that, that's the good news is that... <laughs> It's only a group of four or three, or I don't know what it was, so we're just trying to hone in on a location. If we can do a little bit of damage, slow them down. Alright, here we go. I'm 
just a little surprised that our previous aircraft didn't pick them up. And you guys, I kind of want you to just follow along the coast while you, can you rejoin your group? Is this the Kinpu? Ashigaru. Can you join the Ashigaru? Yeah, do that. Slow down to 25 and off you go. Did the old one go away or something? I'm gonna assume yes. Oh my gosh. We got him! We got him! Oh, we got him! Here we go! What? A battleship? What? Zero hits? Oh, well, I mean, if you thought that was bad, wait till three torpedo bombers show up against that same cap. I think this report was faulty. When was it delivered? Yeah, it was, it's four hours old, but I don't know how they would have gotten up here and then not. Huh. Like, I moved all this way just to shorten the recovery time of my aircraft. We're moving practically in range. So, you know what? We're going to start moving back. We're practically in range of the, the battleships. <laughs> We do, we do need to be a little bit careful. Uh, just a little bit. We'll still run at speed. Okay. And there it is. Two, oh, there's only one aircraft left. It's one carrier and one destroyer. Okay, just make a beeline for them. Pretty clear their their trajectory, so we might get lucky here. You, whenever you're done doing that, okay, move back this way. Squad Max, go home. We'll do 28 just so I can tell the difference between one and the other. Oh, she's coming back. Now, all the while that we're moving, they're moving, but when they want to launch, they have to move west. So if we get lucky, we'll pick her up. If not, then we won't. It's just that simple. It's very unlikely, but we'll do our best. Going into port with our carrier. Yeah. Thank you for your service, though. It was very helpful. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we have more or less the right area, but... The time is almost over on this. I hope that the transports don't land, by the way. Little patrol pattern, why not? Huh. Okay, that's it. Oh, wow. So there was one carrier and a light carrier, both which remain untouched. Um, transports, they did fail. Oh, thank goodness. So they failed to re reach the objective. Aircraft losses 1,300. Theirs is actually greater. I'm, I'm surprised by that, but very happy to see it. <clears throat> Four battles. I mean, this is huge, huge success. They had, they did have, oh my gosh, this was like, talk about unfair fights. We have on the Discord a Rule the Waves um, channel on the on my Discord server. And people post their battle results every now and then there. I am going to post this battle result for sure. In fact, probably do that. Um, let me just pause and do that. 
Ah, uh, yes. As I put in the Discord, just another fair fight. So we managed to really do well in this. I mean, this is... <laughs> the game set us up well for success in this mission by, I think, the placement of their carriers being far away. Maybe the fact that we we're so close to port, we had the defender's advantage, probably would have lost another cruiser at least without that. And we, we were able to take more risks normally uh, than normally we would be able to, you know, knowing that we have the luxury of having port nearby. But even including all of that, this is such a lopsided fight. It's just hugely lopsided. Now that that's ahistorical, I'm not, I don't want to stop my feet and say the battle generator should only give us fair fights, but at least it's some um, pretty clear evidence that the battle generator will not always give you fair fights. Just, I mean, obviously the one disappointment is we didn't, we didn't manage to take out a single carrier or even, even when we had that launch. I wonder, okay, we'll, we'll actually be able to see. I'm, I was just about to say, I wonder what the escort of that carrier was. It kept saying one carrier, one destroyer, but I don't believe it. Let's look at the ship details though, for those who are interested. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's just, what? Oh my gosh, it's just horrible. Nine torpedo hits on the Redoubtable. Seven torpedo hits on the Queen. Five torpedo hits on the Victorious. Twelve torpedo hits on the Mars. Unbelievable. Um, two torpedo hits on the Courageous. And actually, this in constant battle cruiser, it's it's got very powerful guns. 36,000. How is this? This is actually a very capable ship for tonnage, I think. Eight 16-inch guns. Still has reasonable armor. And yet, it goes 28 knots. This is... I mean, this must be a very... Oh, 1920. I was going to say this must be a recent design, but no, it's not. And I could see this one having sunk. Both of the torpedo mounts were destroyed. That probably led to a lot of flooding. Probably just take a look. Um, we actually managed to get a fire started on the superstructure with 4-inch guns. Um, then a torpedo hit. Another torpedo hit. She limited flooding. I don't know if nine is how many times in a row she did it or the amount of flooding she limited. Because I imagine she had more flooding from two torpedo hits than nine plus four plus two, uh, 16 or so. Yeah, it must be like rounds in a row where she limited it. Well, interesting. I mean, it's if you had to let them get away, the battle cruisers are worse. Are, they're worse off in a fit, in a head-to-head -head matchup against my my battleships. But um, oh, we did manage to sink the Phoenix. She did take a torpedo hit. Okay, good. Hey, yeah, let me look at that. Okay, one of them survived, but we did get one of them. That's actually... Uh, I'm surprisingly happy about that. Oh my gosh. We were very close to getting her, turns out. She must have moved north. In fact, I, I'm interested enough to know where she moved. Oh, wow. So yeah, our scouting reports were correct, but immediately after that, she just turned to the northwest. Sidestepped us. What a battle. And in the end, uh, the Eagle and her escorts of battle cruisers finished just north. I think that these ships were all defending the Courageous and the transports. What a mess. Hmm. We almost got this ship. I mean, considering this is the path our big ship took and our destroyers were slightly further ahead, not only that, I mean, we're two hours separate. At 8 o'clock, they were here. Yeah, they were too far north because it was already dark. Man. Well, you know, that's just the way it goes. I mean, it, it, you'd have to get very lucky. Okay, anyways. Enemy invasion is averted. That's definitely worth holding on to as a, a favorite save. And that's uh, obviously a perfect time for us to call this to a close. No, no to all, but I probably need to... Oh, 
We've taken Hong Kong. What a glorious... Yikes. What a glorious turn, except for this. No merchant sunk. I mean, I guess at this point, they have enough ASW just to thwart any kind of attempt with submarines. Which I guess just spells the end of the submarine era. And now, we don't have any... I mean, I, we could probably go and invest in like 100 submarines or whatever, but one, it's not quite as fun, and two, I think that people have equipped themselves well with uh, ASW capabilities. Yeah, even the naval aircraft, I forgot, of course. Oh, we have 100... We have 1,100 compared to... So we might be a little bit aircraft heavy. Or does that just make us visionaries? I mean, it certainly means that we definitely have the most carriers. I've been kind of thinking about it, by the way, and I'm thinking that maybe the end of the series will be the next war will go to... Uh, the next war will be the last one, and we'll go to war against uh, the United States as kind of like the, the boss, the battle, the end game boss, and then call the series to a close. I don't know if we'll get to cruise missiles and all that by then, but we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching this one. Until the next one, stay safe and take care.